boss rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man. What, it what is going on, everybody? Sport of Slab Trade, and welcome back today, guys, to the channel for some more grand. Turismo 6 man now, this has actually been a very long time since we have actually revisited this I went ahead booted up the PlayStation 3 got my online working did the necessary updates and we are good to go now obviously Gran Turismo Sport is very very close it's got delayed a few times you know people were a little bit upset we were all expecting it for the holiday season unfortunately it's not happening man i think it's looking like a february release date if you guys can confirm or deny that in the comment section down below i'd be greatly appreciated ladies and gentlemen though if you would like to keep seeing more gran turismo 6 on the channel don't forget to slap that like button now for today we're gonna dive right into these seasonal events uh this is something that i really enjoy they always change these up and they're always good events man and that's why i really do enjoy this we have a challenge at the nuremberg rain that's actually something that does interest me so i think we're gonna save that for the end of the episode i'd love to get into some drifting events here which i do see quite a few of them actually i see one here non-race car drift trial which actually will probably be our first run of the day and then we also have a gt300 race car drift trial and i think then we'll end it off at the nuremberg ring man ladies and gentlemen this should be a pretty damn good episode for today i did miss this game and i really do enjoy a little bit of gran turismo 6 from time to time and i just wish that more people that i knew personally in my group of friends that did have this game because obviously i think there's only a few i think dubs is only one of them that does have it if you guys haven't checked out dubs channel go and check it out he does post quite a bit um although he did just post his final video on gran turismo 6 so you know what screw that don't sub to that man i'm just kidding man check him out he makes some pretty damn good content but we need to get into today's event and it says in the drift trial event you'll be completing with non-race cars man i said completing it says competing god damn it man i'm terrible today in order to achieve a high score the first of the three scoring sections is the most vital the longer your drift the better your score we already know this shit man it's not a problem uh category requirements normal car that's that's about it okay so let's go ahead and see what everybody else is using online um like, what it says tank car what the hell's a tank car Oh my god, we got a Corvette. Like, what is this tank car, man? What the hell is this shit? Oh my goodness. Charger 440. God damn. Throwing it down with the big muscle. I see you. So realistically, anything can be in here to compete. So that's good, actually. That's good. Let's see what we have, actually, in our car list before we go out and build another one. Uh, that Pikes Peak Quattro looks very nice. I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a build to start today, considering... We're not on Gran Turismo that much, right? So, I mean, once we do get on here, it's always nice to throw down a nice build of some sort. Um, the only problem, though, is that there's so many cars. I don't know where to start, man. I really don't. Oh, we could go with that big old GS300, man. I haven't seen one of these in so long, and it is very nice. Interior is simple, though, unfortunately. However, at this point... I don't really care, man. I'd love to be able to just drive this in hood view. And I think this is going to be our build for today, man. This is a nice machine right now. It's a Vortex Edition. We have a little bit of info on here. So it says the Toyota Aristo is sold as a Lexus GS300 in the US. By the time the second generation Aristo made its appearance in 97, the car had already become one of the most popular front engine rear drive cars in Japan. Toyota went to the same power plants as the previous model. The engine of choice was the turbocharged 3 liter inline 6 that popped out 276 horsepower and 332 foot pounds of torque and then naturally aspirated variant came with 226 okay so that's not bad and then toyota maximized the Risto's potential by equipping it with a four liter dual overhead cam v8 man uz series produced 291 now what does this one have 29 oh, so we have 276 horsepower on this so which means that this is that inline six three liter turbo charge you can see the displacement i don't even know why i didn't even see that and then i go back out of the car i didn't mean to we're grabbing this car okay we're yeah thank you i want this car let's see this baby start up man let's go love this game for the startups man i wish more games did this at the start when you buy a new car and just hear that thing turn over man there's no better sound than the first time you turn over a brand new car man here we go Okay, 
We're just gonna pretty much be buying everything that we potentially can. Horsepower though, I'm planning on keeping this roughly around um, I'd like it to stay around 400 horse if possible, maybe low 350s. We're really not going to need a lot, I feel, but I want to make sure that we have enough to really throw this thing around. That is the plan. We got a four door, man. It's a little, you know, it's a little bit of a bigger car, but we should be okay. 352. You know what? What is this? Three, 393 stage three engine. 424 on the ECU and I think that should be exactly what I want 447 it's a little bit too much turbo kits I'm pretty sure we're okay with turbos we're just gonna leave that stock turbo kit on there and I think that is really about it for the build man I didn't want to do much like I said I just wanted to make sure that it was gonna be you know somewhat driftable with you know a decent amount of power is what I wanted stage two on the weight at least we get a little bit of a wing man we can actually take the wing off which is pretty crazy that they allow you to do that in the game. That is really cool. Um, we're going to go ahead. Oh, man. The wing is nice, though. I really do enjoy a little wing like that. And, you know, that's kind of what my G has on there. Um, you know what? I think we're going to keep that stock wing. That's, yeah, that's going down. Now, this gets me excited, though, for GT Sport. Because, you know, we've always known that they have had a great rim selection in every game, pretty much. And now moving forward over to GT Sport, next generation for the first time on the PlayStation 4. They have so much more room to work with. I'm pretty excited to see what they're going to be doing in terms of customization, in terms of graphics and such like that. It's going to be pretty damn crazy, man. All right, so with that being said, uh, we are pretty much good to go. Now, I, I'm going to just try to maybe run this completely stock and just see what happens for this event. I don't know if I can tune before I go in there. If I can't, like I said, it doesn't matter, man. We're just going to run it and we're going to see how we do. Entry accepted here on Silverstone Grand Prix Circuit. Holy shit. It's been a while since we've been back, man. So don't be, you know... Don't be uh, complaining if I can't hold the slide, right? That's all I'm saying. Good old Silverstead, man. It has been so long since we have been back here on GT6. I'm feeling confident. You know, I'm feeling pretty good right now. We just got to make sure that we are nice and easy on the throttle. Throttle control is everything on this game. It really is. And if you are not with it on the throttle, um, you know, this game will really bite you hard. And we're just going to try to just even out the suspension. I know I haven't even driven this thing yet, but... I don't want it to be too soft, and that's really the kind of the main thing. Rear camera, I think that's perfect. Maybe even a little bit too much on the rear. So we're gonna bring this down, maybe to about a 0.8, and then maybe a little bit more, 0.9 on the front. Uh, Drivetrain, torque, I'm pretty sure it's lower the better. We're gonna see how it feels on 1040, and then if we need to up it, we will go ahead and do that. That is the build though for today's GS300, man. Now, control sensitivity, force feedback, we're gonna up it to four on the force feedback and sensitivity. Oh shit. It's paddles, man. Okay, it's a paddle dam shifter here. Okay. It's gonna change it up a little bit. I was really excited to use my shifter, but car feels good. Um, the transition got me a little bit. So we're gonna see how this goes here. We're not gonna throw this in fourth gear because that just sounds stupid. Throw that weight. Maybe fourth gear here. Oh! It sounded good, man. They were clapping. They were clapping for me. Don't you dare go off the track. Son of a shit. We need to hit five grand, man. What are we at right now? We're at like 2,000. We need more. We need more. It is so weird not having... My damn handbrake it really is 3,000 we didn't even hit broad all right we're definitely getting a restart on that shit that was treacherous though it's good to be back man we finished 33,000 okay thank you man I'm gonna be happy with my time tonight god damn I'm just kidding man I'm not I'm restarting it let's go now if you guys are following along at home let me know your time or Jesus man let me know your points for today's episode Look at that. Just gaining a little bit too much traction. But I see what they're saying in terms of having a really good first, second, and third corner. It is definitely crucial. And I'm too nervous to throw this in on this corner right here. So I just can't do that. Yes. Yes. We're going to just whip it. 
There we go. See, that's what I needed right there. It was a good whip. Hopefully nobody's listening to my conversation right there. That would have been real weird. This man needs a good whip? What do you mean? Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Already cleared that total. Just hold it. Yeah, baby. 3,900. We haven't hit the five grand yet, though, man. We haven't got it yet. We may have to switch cars. We'll see. Um, you know, I'm happy with the tune. I really am. It's just a matter of being able to throw it and connect the corners is the biggest thing. And this is no easy task on Gran Turismo, man. It really isn't. I know, uh, you know, a lot of people will say that this game is quite easy, but you're running a full damn rig. It is treacherous. There we go. There we go. That's a bad idea. Pissed. Want to try some third person action? Man, this is going to be freaky though. Look at this shit. The, ca the camera is so static, it's not even funny. But, let's give this a shot. Here we go, here we go. With this transition. Oh, you shit. Okay, you know what? We need to tune that third gear, man. It definitely needs to be done. Um, I'm going to extend it a little bit out so I can extend that corner. That transition is killing me every single time. Yes, I know the record shit, okay? We got 236 grand, though. Extend it out. We're also going to go ahead and mess with the suspension right here. Give it a little bit more rear camber on that. Maybe a negative 1.6. Roll bars I do like. I'm not really too mad about the roll bars. We're going to bring it down maybe just one on the rear. Just to try to catch that swing on the transition. And that should be realistically... All that I need. I am going to bring up the differential just to kind of play around with it to see how it feels on 6060. Because, uh, I mean, like I said, I don't know still if that's a lock or not. Um, you know, I've seen it all in the comments, but, you know, nobody's really given me an exact answer. So if you can do that, man, help me out. I'd be appreciated. There we go. I'm definitely getting out of that view, though. I hate that shit. I remember. We got new gears. Oh, and they are marvelous. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That's not happening, is it? No, that's not happening. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm trying to remember if I have a clutch or not with the paddles. We didn't get any points for that? No, 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 no. Hold up. All right. Concentration. We gotta get this shit, man. I'm tired of running this Silverstone track. I am. Woo! There we go. 1800? I have never got that much on that run before. Still peeling. Still peeling. Let's go, baby! 42! Woo! That's a 54-66, ladies and gentlemen. And that is going to be gold for that run. That was a tough damn session, man. Holy shit. I've never been tested that much before. Obviously, 12,000 in the world. Uh, you know, I'll take autographs after the session is done, please. But, uh... <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's pretty shitty. However, I'm glad I got gold. I mean, for me, somebody that doesn't usually play Gran Turismo 6, uh, you know, I'm not too well diversed in, you know, reverse entries on this game, holding it in at high speeds and such like that. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with that run. I am. We're going to have a look at this one more time before we head out to the next event. But uh, this game definitely is a lot of fun to play. And just the realism on the wheel is incredible for this being a PlayStation 3 game. I mean, I will always love this game. And I mean, any game that has good physics is a good game, regardless of the graphics. At least for me, anyways. You know, that's that's all I'm saying. Look at that run, though, man. We be killing that shit. God damn. Like, it looks like we're literally watching this at the track right now. That's how real that shit looks. Obviously, the smoke is fantastic. Gran Turismo is one of the best games for smoke out on the market today. And, uh, I mean, no other game touches it. It really doesn't. 
Look at this shit. Oh, my God. It looked nice out there, man. It did. It looked like it was just gracefully going across. Just, just skipping those corners, man. It's nice. Oh, what? We got a brand new McLaren? Holy shit. McLaren F1. That has got to be worth a pretty damn penny, man. We're going to buy this in, uh, what do you think? Base silver? Yeah, let's go, man. Okay, so that is one down. Uh, we have a few left to go here. Let's go with the GT300 race car drift trial. Don't really know what I'm supposed to be using. We're here in London. Uh, I don't know the course, but we're gonna we're gonna be learning it real quick, though, man. Look at all the cars we have to use. Holy shit! You know what? Let's go to the online rankings one more time and let's see that top car being used. And we're just gonna cheat and just bandwagon jumping is what I'm gonna do. C West Rezo Silvia, 01 okay found it c west razo sylvia 01 i was looking forever for this damn thing this is a badass machine man let's get a little info on this obviously it's an s15 if you guys have not noticed um but let's just see what the motor is on here this is actually a part of the all japan grand touring car championship um so that is pretty damn cool actually that we're going to be driving one of these to slide not the race but the drift oh my god 295 horsepower is that it 295 on this okay this should be interesting oh my god okay the gt300 class cars aren't set up for drifting so you'll need to increase power by adding a turbocharger to the engine retuning the lsd will make the car easier to control when it's sideways also don't forget to dial out some of the downforce from the bodywork so the car will be more willing to swing the tail out i actually forgot about doing that we're gonna sign up tune the car get some more horsepower in like they recommended, and then go onto the track. All right, of course, first things first, we're buying comfort hards, get that at least started. Uh, suspension, we're gonna leave that stock just to see how it's gonna feel. Transmission, we don't need anything in there. Um, we're gonna definitely throw on that turbo kit though, with, like they recommended. We're gonna go mid-range on that, 391, and I'm thinking maybe stage three. What do you think? That's gonna be 552, it's too much, man. It's too much, I'm not doing it. Body work, down force, we're gonna bring that down on the rear. And then maybe a little bit up on the front, man. Why not? 240 on the front. And we're gonna see how this goes. Ladies and gentlemen, first race here in London. Do I have anybody from London in the comment section, man? Let me know if you guys are from London. Am I using? Ooh, I got the stick shift. Oh boy. Okay, yep, I haven't ran this. Damn! We tapped it! Oh, you son of a bitch! Key, though, is to properly get this out for this corner. And then they do the exact same on that. Okay. There we go. So look at that! Man. I'm riding this strip! I'm riding it! Like, there is no... Oh my god, okay, okay. I think I got this, man. I think I got this. It's a treacherous course, though. Oh, whoa, whoa. Here we go. Reverse entry, and we didn't even get the points. Oh my god. You're not serious right now, are you? Cannot hit that strip. We're good, we're good, we're good. What do we get? 1971. Still not even good enough for bronze. No, we're doing that again. I'm sorry. Car actually slides a lot better than I was expecting it to. It's sloppy as shit, but I'm gonna take it though. Here we go, here we go. Oh, this is, this is in the bag right now. We got gold, baby. We're coming home with gold. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> oh, my. We didn't get gold. We didn't get it, man. I cannot believe that shit. Nine points away. Was that right? Nine points? Oh, my God. I cannot believe that. Okay. Seven points. Seven measly damn points. There we go. Yes.
Alright, if I don't get my damn 35 large on this, heads are gonna roll. We gotta get it, right? How? One more thing. One more thing we're gonna do. Don't be booing me right now. Hold on, I'm not done yet. What we're gonna do quickly is uh, tune the car. I'm gonna take away some of that rear downforce just so I can try to get it out, man. That was one of the biggest issues on turn one was that the rear end just would not kick out. And I mean, it would. Oh, look at that. We're already down all the way on the downforce, too. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead to the rear camber. We're already at negative 3.5. We're going to bump it up to about maybe four. We're going to stiffen up this rear roll bar just a little bit and the front. I don't know. We're going to see. I don't, I don't think that's probably the best idea to go with, but, you know, I feel it right now, man. I got the feels. Hold up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. We're good. We're good. 2,000 on there, man. That's huge. That's huge. Come on. Let's go. Finally, man. 3,500. We beat it. 3,882. That was one of the hardest sections I have done in a very, very long time. We're going to get a replay on that, though, because that was incredible man 5531st in the world i will take it now we're gonna get a look at the replay before we finish this off however though that is it for today man this went a little bit longer than i expected for these runs uh we're gonna probably save the norch life for another day but as i said don't forget to slap that like button we just got an aston martin 177 was that right tell me i just seen that shit all right, here we go, man. This S15 threw down. I was very proud of it. Held very nicely in that fourth gear. We're going to have a look here. Coming inches to that wall. That was crazy. I would love to get another camera angle on that, though. I didn't really see too much of that. That was a tough run, man. If you guys have done this same track, let me know your thoughts down below. What was your score that you finished with? Were you using a wheel? Were you using a controller? Leave that all down below, ladies and gentlemen. But... Huge thank you once again, as I said, for coming around for today. If you did enjoy it and you are still here, don't forget to slap that like button. You guys can show your support in the comment section down below. And as always, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Gran Turismo 6 with a little bit of seasonal events, man. We're waiting for our new... Oh my jeez, it's beautiful, man. It's your boy Trade. I'm out. This is my calling Flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling I'm like, yeah What it do? Penthouse, man, what have you